what is happening? Well, let's talk a little bit about the same idea we were looking at before of the signal coming down and um, the, the, the satellite sending out this little transmission and then what it does here on the surface. And it all goes back to something that we've tried to forget, that rate times time equals distance. Okay, so what is the rate, what is the time, and what is the distance? Well, the rate is known, right? When these satellite transmissions come out, we know how long these transmissions take to get down to the Earth. So the rate is given based on satellite transmission. Okay. How long is the time? And that's the big deal, right? So if we are down here on the surface of the Earth and the satellite is up there and that satellite is there and it's sending, oh, the satellite's gotten bigger, okay? It's sending down its message. Let's say that we go back and it says, I'm sending the message right now. It's 16, that's gonna be military time, 1607. Do, 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 1607, 1607, I'm 21, 1607. And it finally makes it down to Earth at 1613. Well, that shows a change in time, right? So seven to 13, that's gonna be like six minutes, right? So the time is how long it takes to reach the surface. How long? right? Because it's got the fancy clock. It's going to be able to tell us how long until it reaches uh, my receiver. Okay. If I've got the rate and I've got the time, then I've got the distance. Okay. And this is the glory of GPS is having that distance. Why? Who cares? Well, let me show you why. Okay. Let's go back to our scenario, but this time I'm going to put more satellites up in the sky. Okay. So that's going to be, uh, let's see, I'll draw myself right back here again. And we won't put on the little hat, but we will put on the small little receiver. Perfect. And there's satellite um, that is up over here. Okay. And I'm going to draw this guy in. We'll come down a little bit. There we go. And this guy is sending its signal. Okay. Now, based on the rate that I know that these waves travel and the time that it takes, I know that there is a specific distance from that one satellite. But that doesn't tell me everything. All that tells me is how far I am from here. So if we could picture this as a gigantic bubble going all the way around this one satellite, that's how far it's going to be from there. So I could be there or there or there. I just know that I'm going to be the same distance from one of those satellites. Thus, we need more than one, right? So I'm going to put in another satellite over here right now. And we do have some problems because my big head is in the way. But let's say that we get this satellite and we know based on the rate and the time that it takes to get here, the distance from that one location. All right. So this is going to be my first satellite. Here's my second satellite. Now I've established a second bubble. Okay. And these two bubbles where they intersect, um, they could be any number of places on Earth. They could be one or two. So let's put up another satellite up here in the sky. I'm going to put one closer to the horizon over on the side here. And it's sending its signal. Okay. Based on those three different signals, we refer to this as triangulation. Right. Well, you're saying, Crozier, that we can get our location based on only three. True. But here's the deal. My phone, as clever as it is, or my little GPS receiver, uh, as clever as it is, it doesn't have an atomic clock. Right? So I know the time really accurately here and the time really accurately here and here. But what is the time really accurately here? Right? Because I'm going to need that if I'm going to be able to determine the distance um, very accurately. Right, with that fourth satellite that's out there, that helps us with time, right? And so number four is important because this is going to be that fourth one that helps us figure out 
uh, the time, a very accurate time here, um, based if you get this triangulation from the three different ones. Anyway, it's 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 um, deeper math than I even understand. But um, triangulation, getting the signal from those three different guys, but that fourth one is kind of needed.